Hello, thank you for being with me tonight. I have a question for y'all. Would you shave your head? Guys in the room, would you shave your head? I don't hear too many no's. Females in the room, would you shave your head? What if I told you it was for an amazing cause that would not only make you feel great about yourself and about what you're standing for, but would also cause a good impact for children with cancer? Well, that's what I want to y'all about tonight. That would be St. Baldrick's. A good way to make a difference while getting a new look in the process. According to the American Cancer Society in 2017, 10,270 children were diagnosed with some form of cancer. That is an amazing number. Not a good number to hear, but an amazing number to hear. We don't want that number to continue to grow. Thankfully, survival rates have increased 34% in the last 15 years. In order to keep this going, there has to be funding. St. Baldrick's not only raises awareness about childhood cancer, but they also raise funds. St. Baldrick's works solely to fund childhood cancer research worldwide, not just local, but worldwide. Strives to not only find better ways to help childhood cancer, but also to improve their adult lives after all the chemo, after all the different processes. You can do more as a single individual than you think. You can do more as a team than you think. From stbaldricks.org, there are over a dozen different childhood cancers. Commonly, they attack the bones, the brain, the lymph nodes. Two thirds of children will suffer long, lifelong effects from having cancer as a child. They include loss of hearing and sight, infertility, heart disease, and other cancers. The reason that I got involved with St. Baldrick's is due to my friend's child having cancer. Go ahead. Being after 111 racetrack drive, 111 racetrack drive, holler, call on 111 if they needed somebody there now. Screaming in the background, hung up, couldn't get weather. 